Camera speed. I think the city of the future requires us to rethink how cities are designed. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today's breakdown is focused on a branded docu-style commercial for the University of Michigan. We shot this on the Red Gemini and Red Komodo using DZO Primes, and I'll have a crew list in the description. For the first scene I selected to cover are the shots inside the classroom. We have these big windows, so the goal was to let the windows be our key light for anything that's near the window or anything that shows the window. We exposed for the background to keep it clean, we added a Nova panel behind a quarter grid, and then we used a K-Flex mirror setup to reflect some of the sunlight back onto the subject. Everything up to this point has been playing off the idea of harsh shadows, harsh window light. I kept the same idea with the close-ups of the student drawing, but we did add a Lico light and use barn doors to shape the sun streak onto the drawing. So I thought that this would be interesting and a creative way to keep things consistent. For the next section, we were on the other side of the classroom. So if you're logically thinking about what's natural, you won't feel the window light from this far across the classroom. Therefore, we made an adjustment and made it an even lit classroom. We took the Nova panel as our key, then we used our legal light. We bounced it off the ceiling so that way the white on the ceiling was able to just give a small feel back to the students. Lastly, for the general background light, we turned on some overheads we used the first two rows. Now for the interviews, we kept the interviews dead center because the symmetry of the shot was great. For lighting, we utilized the windows again and controlled it as usual. We used the eighth, I believe on this, an eighth grid, but we put it against the window to bring down the exposure on the talent's face. After we looked at the image, we recognized that we were having a little bit more spill on the face than we wanted. So we actually flagged a piece of that grid cloth that's on the window off. That way we were able to get a smooth, soft light to shadow across the face. Well, I wanted to backlight the subject, but I didn't want to just stick a C-stand back there because obviously it would be in the way. So we found a creative way to just mount the light on the top left of the ceiling where the light was slightly out of frame. Just a rule of thumb, a lot of people post different lighting setups and you know it involves six, seven, eight different types of lights. Um, there's a time and place for it. Sometimes you can use minimum lighting and stuff turns out fantastic. Sometimes you focus more on controlling the, the window light in this scenario or sunlight if you're outside. You, you find a way to control the light that you do have. So it's important to just understand what you're doing and what goal is trying to be accomplished when you're filming. Now there's a lot of shots in this piece, which is great because there's tons of B-roll. A lot of the outside footage was shot on the go, straight run and gun. Our goal was to shoot the B-roll run and gun, but make the B-roll shots feel planned and not rushed. Thanks everyone for watching. If there's questions, comment below. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe for more. I think the city of the future requires us to rethink how cities are designed. My ideal city would be very community oriented. It needs to be safe. Very interconnected. Autonomous transportation. Problems will be solved. Trees, the water fountains, filled with life. And I think that's what is so important about urban technology. Urban technology is a really new term. Architects, they build the physical space. The role for urban technology is to design the social space, the invisible things a part of the city. We focus on technology side coding, we focus on design and design thinking. We're trying to see the problems in the real world and trying to come up with a way to solve it. The world is always changing and studying cities in cities helps us amplify that in a positive way.